After a harrowing, emotional four days in the High Court in Christchurch, Justice Cameron Mander delivered Brenton Tarrant's sentence. On each of the 51 charges of murder, charges 1 to 51, you were sentenced to life imprisonment. I order that you serve the sentences without parole. Tarrant showed little emotion, even when being told he would spend the rest of his life in prison. Outside the court, there was relief and gratitude that the convicted murderer and terrorist had been given a sentence never before handed down in New Zealand. But it was mixed with the realisation that the pain will go on. No punishment will bring our loved ones back. We respect our justice system and the New Zealand Muslim community and the non-Muslim as well, we stood together against hate. The court was told Tarrant's actions after he entered the two mosques on March the 15th last year were premeditated and calculated. He had studied the layout of the buildings and when they would be busy. And in interviews with police expressed disappointment that he hadn't killed more worshippers. It is self-evident that your offending constituted extreme violence. It was brutal and beyond callous. Your actions were inhuman. But you are weak. The sentence brought an end to four days of statements by survivors and family members of those killed. At least 90 statements were given, some of them expressing anger, some offering forgiveness, all of them emotional. The Prime Minister spoke soon after and expressed her support for them and the sentence. The trauma of March 15 is not easily healed. But today, I hope, is the last where we have any cause to hear or utter the name of the terrorist behind it. His deserves to be a lifetime of complete and utter silence. The sentencing of Brenton Tarrant closes a chapter in one of New Zealand's darkest days and means no one has to relive the events in a parole hearing. But for the relatives of the 51 people whose lives he took away and those he injured, trying to recover will be a long, difficult process. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera. Well, earlier we spoke to Leanne Dalziel, the mayor of Christchurch, and she had a message of healing and unity for the people of the city. I was uh, relieved when I heard that that was the result. I know that many of us um, standing alongside our Muslim communities um, who have been so tragically affected by the events of March 15 were relieved when they heard that the sentence was without parole. Um, it had to be life, uh, but to make it without parole means that nobody ever has to think about fronting up to a parole board and, and having to argue uh, for that this man's actions uh, could in any way lead to anything um, less than that. I believe that the community has changed, uh, and it changed on March 15, and we saw it uh, in the response from the whole community. Uh, you know, the tribute wall that um, developed over the days that followed, uh, which really did indicate an outpouring of grief and compassion and love. And then uh, the one that really sticks in my mind was the call to prayer one week later, uh, standing in South Hagley Park opposite Elnor Mosque, uh, where just thousands of Christchurch residents turned up quietly and silently uh, to send the strong message to the Muslim community that we're here, we've got your back. And that sense of togetherness, that spirit of togetherness, that is what uh, I believe will we'll see us through. And that is what we must continue to demonstrate to all of our communities in their, in their diversity um, as a city saying that this is a place that there is no, no place for hate in our city. But I just want to pay tribute to the courage of weak. every single one of those people who stood up in court and made their statement. Um, they're not victims. They are courageous individuals who deserve our respect. They were so dignified. Um, and I just, my heart goes out to each and every one of them. And uh, I thank them for what they have been prepared to do for our city. And we will continue to work together to make sure that this is a city where everyone has that sense of belonging.